What's up guys, it's your boy Diamond. Welcome back to Dime Up. Cause before we get into the video, I want you to like, comment, and subscribe to join the ride and be with your boy Dime. Hey, um, if you can tell by the title of this video, I'm going to be going over the first two games of the Brooklyn Nets versus Bucks series. Um, the other series I'm going to get into, I couldn't, I'm not going to do a video on the first game of the Nets and, uh, not Nets, uh, Nuggets and Suns series because I fell asleep. I fell asleep, I think in like the second quarter because I was really tired and I was trying my hardest to stay awake. But I fell asleep and I couldn't watch the entire game. But I have it recorded, so I'm gonna rewatch it and then I'm gonna put a video out on it. So the Buck, I mean the Nets are up 2-0, which is very surprising to me. I thought it would at least be 1-1 or 2-0 in the Bucks' favor, you know. But and one thing I always thought about, especially in that last video I uh, I was in, um, I was talking about how the offensive rebounding and points and paint would hurt the Nets. Well, it, they got more de uh, offensive rebounds and defensive rebounds in the Nets in game one and two. But the Nets still won. And game one, you know, game one was a very good game. I really liked that game. It was close. Um, it was only an eight-point difference at the end. You know, the Bucks looked like they were putting up a fight. Giannis, he finished with um, 34 points, which is a Giannis-type stat line with two blocks, um, four assists, 11 rebounds. Yeah, he was on the boards, you know, and that's something that I always thought was going to hurt us. But that um, free throws, he was 0 for 3. And free throws were a big factor in last night's game as well with him going, I think, 1 for 6 or 1 for 7. He only got like a, only like one free throw in. And I was like, hey, Giannis needs to make his free throws. Like, he needs to make his free throws. He's a superstar now. He's a superstar. He only shot, he only went 2 for 7 last night. So he's a superstar. He should be put, he should like not be excused for holes in his game. He should not. People are, people are excusing him for holes in his game. He should not be excused for holes in his game. And one hole in his game is the free throws. The team did very good in uh, drawing blocking fouls against, you know, Kevin Durant, Blake Griffin, you know, but really, is that really going to help y'all win? Most likely, but it didn't help y'all win in game two. Game two was a blowout. I think that like the largest lead for them was like 49 points. It was a 49 point game. And once again, offensive rebounds, defensive rebounds, and points in paint, I think, were were more than the Nets. You know, and the Nets didn't even have James Harden. Now let me go back to game one. James Harden goes out in like the first 40 seconds, you know. You know, you think, oh shoot, the Nets about to lose. Nah, the Nets pull out the win. In that game, I think it was like 72 points in the paint to 48 or 49. Come on, bro. And the Bucks still lost. But the team went six for 30 from three and Giannis was their best shooter. What does that say, bro? What does that really say? He was 66% from the field in game one and 40% from three. Everybody else was either 25% or lower. What does that tell you? And this Bucks team was actually one of the best, one of the better shooting teams in the league. I don't know, bro. This team is very good offensively and defensively. Defense was one thing I was always thinking the Buc the Brooklyn Nets would have against this Bucks team since they are very, very gifted offensively with Chris Middleton, Drew Holiday, Giannis, Brooke Lopez. So many good players that can come off the bench and give them production. Game two. Yeah. Hey, mine, the Nets, bro, played very well defensively. I've seen so many forced turnovers. Them making Giannis, Drew Holiday, Chris Middleton get bad shots. You know, the person with the highest points in the game was Giannis, and he only had 18 on... He had 53% shooting, but he was 28% from the free throw line. Drew Holiday only had 13 points in 34 minutes of play. I mean, he, he played a very good game. He had 50% from the field, and he had 60%... 50% from three, 60% from the field, my bad. And everybody else did pretty well. I mean, Chris Middleton... Chris Middleton has not showed up. Like, the Chris Middleton we know has not showed up. He only had 17 t last night with only 35% from the field, 37.5 from the three. And in game one, he was only 26% and he had 0% from three. And I, he improved, he, he improved, you know, the team improved from the three point aspect, but dude, they need to execute, bro. Because this next team was for making them force bad shots and that bench did not show up. I tell you, every person who played on the bench didn't show up. I mean, Bryn Forbes had 10 points. Bryn Forbes had 10 points, but that's not really going to help the team win, you know? What they need is production from Giannis, Drew. They need production from Chris to win. If they're not they're if they're not going to do that, they're not going to win. 
You know, if the, if Giannis, Chris Middleton, and Drew Holiday are not all working together and are not producing in the way they used they are they were in the regular season and the games prior, they're not going to win this series. This net squad is doing great. They're doing great defensively. They had a great off defensive night. People said the, the Nets don't have good defense. I even said that myself. But they had a great defensive night. And even without James Harden, they were still able to put up 125 points to 86. A, the biggest lead was 49 points. The Nets are looking great offensively. Kevin Durant went off. Um, Joe Harris was putting down shots. Everybody was hitting shots for the th for the for the Nets. You know, everybody was hitting shots for the Nets, and this looked like a very good game. And this showed that the Nets, even without a stacked bench or a good bench, can still put up great numbers. And Mike James is a great player. Bruce Brown's a great player. Hey, shout out to everybody who played well for the Nets. Shout out to everybody who played good for Phoenix because I know Phoenix won. Shout out Chris Paul. Shout out Kevin Durant. Shout out uh, Kyrie. Shout out Mike James. Shout out Bruce Brown. Shout out Joe Harris. Shout out to everybody who played well last night. And shout out to the Bucks for trying. Hey, man. If you like the video, why don't you like it? I want y'all to like, comment, and subscribe. I need to get to 100 by the end of this year, man. God bless. Peace out. 100. Bow.